Are you curious about how gallstones form? In the next few minutes, I will unravel the process of gallstone formation. Imagine this, you've just polished off those delectable fries, and now they're making their way through your digestive system. Although they are no longer fries, the high fat content still poses a challenge for absorption. This is where your gallbladder steps in. When you consume fatty foods, your gallbladder is triggered to release bile from your small intestine. Bile is an amazing substance that plays a crucial role in breaking down fat, improving its absorption by your body. Essentially, your gallbladder's primary function is to store and concentrate bile until it's needed for digestion. But what exactly comprises this miraculous bile? It's a mixture consisting of acids, cholesterol, lipids, proteins, minerals, and a small amount of bilirubin. These components work synergistically to break down fats and maintain the smooth operation of your digestive system. When in balance, all of the components of bile remain in solution. Now, let's address gallstones. Gallstones are round, solid stones that are found inside the gallbladder. They're made from the components of bile, so they're categorized depending upon what they're made of. The most common ones are cholesterol stones, but there are also bilirubin stones. Bilirubin stones are sometimes called pigmented stones because of the color. The first type, as you might guess, are made mostly of cholesterol that has precipitated out of the bile and formed stones. Cholesterol stones account for around 70 to 90% of cases in form when there's an excess amount of cholesterol in your bile. This surplus can lead to bile becoming oversaturated with cholesterol, causing cholesterol to precipitate out of solution and form stones. It's like trying to fit too many ingredients into a recipe, resulting in solidification. Gallbladder stasis or inactivity has also been linked to forming stones. If the bile just sits there, it can cause the solids to separate and precipitate out. Kind of like the way oil in your peanut butter jar separates from the peanuts if it sits too long. Stones that are pure cholesterol cannot be seen on an x-ray, but this is rare. Cholesterol is sticky, and cholesterol stones also include some calcium, which shows up in x-rays. Bilirubin stones, also called pigmented stones, are primarily composed of bilirubin, a yellowish pigment derived from the breakdown of red blood cells. These stones tend to develop when there's an abundance of bilirubin in the bile, often due to the action of bacteria. Women are typically more at risk than men because estrogen increases cholesterol stone formation, which is also why the use of oral contraceptive pills that contain estrogen increase the chances of developing gallstones. Anyone with high cholesterol is also at increased risk of developing cholesterol stones. Finally, rapid weight loss can create an imbalance in the bile composition that increases the chances of gallstone formation. The next step for those with gallstones is to use acupressure to relieve symptoms. I put my video, Three Acupressure Points for Gallstones, right over here. Check it out.